I know exactly what you're thinking. Andrew, why are there three tens on the screen? That don't make no sense. You said you're giving away one 10. Why are there three? Well, please allow me to share. You guys are so awesome that I can't give away just one. And honestly, I feel like this 10 is probably gonna go to someone that has commented like a ton. And I wanna give everybody kind of a fair shake, especially the people that have been really active, so to speak, or added value in some kind of way. And there are many, many, many of you. And I just feel like if I give away one 10, it's not enough. So let's talk a little bit about this giveaway. There were about 148 comments entered into this drawing, a ton. Thank you guys so much for participating and um, honestly just loving the TCG and having a great time with everybody and commenting. Um, it's been awesome. Many of the comments in here are Poketubers. I feel like there are a lot of you that aren't Poketubers that um, would really love to have a tin. So that's kind of my stance on doing more than one. Let's say, for example, someone wins this main tin and that person is a Poketuber, someone wins Raichu. What I'm going to do is kind of look at like who the most active people have been and who's added value and really just gone above and beyond with um, participating in this drawing. There are many of you and I want to make sure everybody has a fair shake. So let's say somebody is a Poketuber and wins this. We're going to do another drawing for this one and that, and that person will not be a Poketuber and vice versa because, man, like, y'all are awesome, and I can't do just one. It's not right, and I really listen to my gut feeling on that. It's not me just trying to get brownie points for being nice, believe me. Self-reflection, that's a skill set that I learned very, very early in life, being introspective and learning about who I am. I can talk about personality types all day, and that's not even what I studied back in the day. Like, it's just something that I'm really interested in, and I know how I work. So, I feel like it's the right decision, and I feel like y'all just deserve some tins. <laughs> Period. That's that, it's just my gut feeling. So that's all. Lastly, there is a mystery Easter egg somewhere in this video. So I feel like there are a lot of you that really pay attention to kind of the subtleties and the nuances in these videos. It's just kind of who you are and I'm that way too. So I appreciate you guys who are kind of wired that way. So this last tin is really for you. If you find that Easter egg, try to figure out what the instructions are, follow them and you'll be entered into the drawing to win this last tin. Now, if you got a tin from me previously, you cannot win Charizard. If you are scheduled to win this guy or this guy, you cannot get Charizard, okay? This is really just for people that I kind of know who you are and I want to be able to make sure that you're recognized and that I see you. So I, you guys are awesome, all of you, and um, we're going to go ahead and get started here in just a minute. I think that's everything that I wanted to say on that end. Lastly, I just wanted to clear the air on one thing in my previous videos. I did say and I was kind of new at the time and I'm getting more and more experience every single day. But I did say that hidden fates, the prices will go up, they always do, that's a period. Now, I kind of stand by that statement, but at the same time, we are at the mercy of the Pokemon company for reprints. We do not control the supply. For WotC, for Vintage, for things that are outside of the scope of reprinting, we are in control of the supply in terms of sealed product. Every time we open something up and it's outside of the scope of reprinting, that supply goes down, the prices should go up. That should self-correct. Now with hidden fates, there could be three, four, five, six, seven more reprints. And I feel like there might be, honestly, <laughs> like it's likely. We'll see what happens. At the same time, guys, I'm not an expert and I'm very new to this. I am not your guy for investing. I'm not your guy for making money in this. I'm not your guy for flipping. There are a lot of people out there talking about that. It's definitely hot right now. I don't care to do that because I know I'm not good at it, number one. And number two, um, it's just not something that I wanna focus on in this channel. Like. In this channel, I really want to focus on opening things that I enjoy opening and giving away things and also doing some other things that are a bit more creative with creating content. So that's that. I just wanted to clear the air to let you guys know that it's an opinion. I'm definitely not experienced in that regard and you should not listen to me when I'm talking about speculation. I'm really just talking, throwing ideas out there. And when I do that, I'm going to do my best to preface it or talk about points on the back end so that you guys understand that you shouldn't be using me for making those decisions. While I think that many of the points that I make will be valid, do your own research and make your own decisions and definitely leverage other channels out there that are more experienced and more focused on that because that's not my focus and I don't want it to be. Um, I just feel like there's more than enough people out there doing that, that's not what I wanna do. I wanna collect cards, the best of the best, that are very rare, very scarce, very popular and hold on to them and additionally, do some awesome giveaways, all of that. <laughs> That's who I am. That's what I'm all about. That's my philosophy with collecting. I encourage each and every single one of you to develop your own philosophy for collecting because a lot of people don't think about that, and it's important. 
because you need to know where you're at if you want to go somewhere. Like to know where you're going, you have to know where you're at. For me, I know exactly what my path is with this channel. So I just wanted to make sure that I covered that because I do not feel like I gave that a proper uh, discussion and enough time to kind of flesh that out. I'll do my best to do that in the future. If I don't do a good enough job in the future with prefacing points that I make on those topics, or talking about them on the back end, you know, various points, let me know because I definitely don't want to be caught off guard or anything like that. There's definitely a fair amount of responsibility that comes with this kind of content creation to make sure that you're not misleading people or leading them astray. My channel isn't designed <laughs> to do that, but occasionally I might chime in and talk about the market. And if I do, I just wanna make sure that y'all understand I'm not your guy for making your final decision. Don't make a final decision based on what I say. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do a giveaway and get started in just a minute. Punch the mic, bam, 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 and we're gonna get started. Right, all right, so we're gonna tackle this first giveaway for the first 10, the Raichu 10. We're gonna start shaking things up, Leech CTV. What up, what up? You got a free shout out right there. That is awesome. You got some awesome videos. I love how you burn things. Freaking epic, right? <laughs> You're the only person doing that. Uh, definitely a unique way to uh, be different, right? So, okay, wow. This person commented like four times. TXQ800, non poketuber Wow, okay, so I wasn't expecting that. This one is still up for grabs to you non poketubers Keep an eye out for that Easter egg. You'll see it in just a minute. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I don't wanna give too much away. So we're done with that. We're gonna get Raichu out of the way. Boom, boom. Um, this one can get out of the way as well, I think. Went to a non poketuber Wait a minute. Excuse me, sir. Yes. But what would happen if, for some reason, we ignore somebody and lock 100% of the cerebral capacity? 100%? Yes. I have no idea. Okay. No, so we're still giving away Gyarados. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch over my screen and my recording to my computer so that you guys can see how I did this. It's basically just a wheel of fortune. I really just did my best to try to recognize people that went above and beyond with the comments and you'll see the specific categories that I chose for Poketubers. So that's how that works. You'll see in just a minute and I will describe everything as well so that it makes sense. So I went ahead and I shared my screen and you should be able to see there where it says can't decide, we'll decide for you. <laughs> I see what they did there. Okay, so I pulled up the one that was designed for the Poketubers. Now, if you're not entered into this drawing, don't be discouraged, you're all amazing and you've all been hugely supportive. What we have here are people that I feel need some recognition in their lives because they're awesome. So we have Small Openings SG and um, what I'm going to do guys is include links to all of these channels down below. If you have the time, definitely go ahead and subscribe to their channels. I feel like these Poketubers are awesome. Um, all the Poketubers generally are, are pretty good. With that being said, if you haven't subbed yet, go ahead and do that. So starting from the top, we have Small Openings SG. Most lulls, you just made me laugh the most. Good job. <laughs> I definitely have a quirky sense of humor. Yizzy Pokemon, most enthusiasm, that one's a gimme. After this, Yizzy, if I ever do categories like this, enthusiasm, that one's X'd out because you're always gonna win. Most knowledge dropped, that means you corrected me the most. I appreciate that. I love constructive criticism. Some people don't. Thank you, Grand Charge Trainer, for doing that. Biggest supporter, of course, that ZA Pokemon. Same goes for you, ZA. You're just amazing, man. So, like, you can't win this in the future if I decide to do that again. All right, and then a couple of honorable mentions. I know, like, honorable mention is people that you shouldn't really include, but the way I view it is like, these people, they would have gotten one of the categories above, it's just we have others that are kind of taking that spot right now. Okay, so MD Pokemon, awesome enthusiasm in your videos as well as in the comments. Um, you always have awesome things to add and I love the dynamic of your uh, videos where I think it's, it's your significant other, where he's very quiet and then you're the bubbly outgoing one. Awesome dynamic that you guys have going there. So I like your videos and uh, keep it up. And then we also have Cool Squirtle Gaming. You're just the man, you know, you're always there commenting and your videos are awesome. You're all about the community and I love that. So I feel like, you know, these are two people that needed to be included in this giveaway, okay? So next what we're gonna do is go ahead and spin the wheel and uh, go from there. And whoever wins gets the Gyarados tin, all right? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel and do that. There we go, who's the winner? Most lulls, of course, of course. Thanks for the laughs, small openings SG, you're awesome. I think you're based out of Singapore, if I'm not mistaken. Please let me know, you know, and I'll 
continue to watch your videos and support and all that. Uh, so I'm sure I'll learn one way or another. All right, and then just to share kind of what I was thinking as far as non-Poketubers, this is what I wanted to do in case you guys didn't win this Raichu tint. So what I was thinking as far as non-Poketubers, you guys are awesome. And all of you are awesome, but these guys are like the above and beyond. So Danny Price, I already sent you a tin. You love Hidden Fates. You comment so much. You are so active. Kimbo Yo Jimbo, I think you're going to be a Poketuber someday. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Most enthusiasm. Honestly, I could just feel the energy from your comments. Really love and appreciate you for that. And then Ashlyn, biggest supporter. You're just super positive, and you're always right there commenting on how you want things to happen. You know, you're just like right there all the time. So huge supporter. That's awesome. And then... Jfeth, correct me if I'm wrong on pronouncing your name, Jfeth Aguilar. You get an honorable mention because you're just awesome and commenting a ton. And then also Lily Leung, you comment a ton too. So definitely awesome that you guys did that. And I'll continue to keep you in mind when we do other drawings, perhaps like this in the future. We'll see what happens. I'm always coming up with different wacky ideas to make things happen for everybody and to have a good time because that's what I really care about. So again, you guys are awesome. I just wanted to spin the wheel one last time to see what happens with you non-Poketubers. Again, you're not able to win anything. The Easter egg is still out there, so keep an eye out for that. Ultimately, I just want to give this a spin just to see what happens for the future. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I want to spin the wheel. Cool. So we just spun the wheel. Danny Price, looks like you won again. Jeez, you just always win, man. You didn't win anything. <laughs> But I just felt like spinning the wheel because uh, you guys have been so supportive. So that's everything for this video, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. Hope you're all happy with this giveaway. We're going to do so many more in the future. We have a big giveaway coming up on August 31st. So keep that in mind. We're giving away Unbroken Bonds. We're giving away Burning Shadows. We're giving away a base set two starter with the CD-ROM, which has the Cosmos for Champ. That's gonna go to one of you awesome people. And then lastly, we're also giving away a Shining Legends pin collection, the Zoroark pin collection. So keep an eye out for that, guys, and keep an eye out for future videos. Again, the future videos will count towards that. So a comment equals an entry into that. So that's everything for this video. Hope you guys are doing great. And let me know what you guys think would be a good giveaway for the future. Would you guys like to be sent PSA cards? Would you like to be sent sealed product? One thing to keep in mind is that the sealed product can't be too big. So I can't give away like a booster case or anything, and I don't think I would. <laughs> Generally, the smaller the item, easier to send, but tins aren't that big a deal. Booster boxes aren't that big a deal, depending on, you know, which set it is, because I'm not sending you a base set booster box. Like, nah, not happening. <laughs> but the more modern stuff is a bit more cost effective, but uh, let me know what you guys think would be a good giveaway. Definitely planning for 250 very soon, 500, 1000, and so on. And each giveaway is going to get bigger and better. So I cannot wait to do that with you guys. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. And that is everything for this video. Take care. Peace.